Hi everyone, today we're learning about the string module in Python. Occasionally when you're coding, you might need to access all the letters of the alphabet as an example. One way to do this would be by manually typing out all the letters, saving it as a string, and then assigning it to a, a constant. So here you'll see that I have the constant lowercase letters. But whenever you're doing something like this, you might be thinking to yourself, there must be a better way. And it turns out there is. There's a built-in module called string in Python. We've seen this before. You import the name of the module, in this case it's string, and then you access objects in that module by doing the name of the module, which is string, and then the dot and the object name. In this case, it is ASCII lowercase. If I run this code, you'll see that I get the same exact thing that I had before, but I didn't have to type out each individual letter. There are also other constants here. We have the uppercase version, we have the lowercase and the uppercase version, and we have the punctuation. ASCII just stands for the American Standard for Code Information Interchange. If you're interested in more information, it's linked in the bytes itself, and you can feel free to read through that. The last thing that we're gonna talk about here is the join method. We can think about join as the opposite of split. We've seen split before, and when you use the string method dot split, it takes a string and it splits it into individual items stored in a list. Join will take individual items and join them together based on whatever character you put in the front. So here you'll notice the character that I'm trying to join everything with is the space character. And then the iterable, in this case, it's the list containing the items, these are words, the iterable goes inside the parentheses. So when I print this out, you see a string that says these are words with spaces in between. If I change this and I put the pipe character instead of the space and I run this, you'll see the items in the list. These are words, but they're now joined by the pipe character. In case you've never heard of this before, it's just a vertical line, and generally speaking, it's located on the right-hand side of your keyboard. That's what happens when you pass in a list. It takes the individual items in a list, and it joins them together. It is important to note that the items in the list do need to be strings as well. But you don't have to pass in just lists. It works with any iterable, including strings themselves. So here we're using that ASCII letters string that we accessed from the string module, and we're going to join together each of the characters with a comma. So I went ahead and printed out the original value so you can see it right here. And now we can see each individual character in the string is separated by a comma. Hopefully this was helpful in understanding how to use the join method and the string module. Thanks for watching and good luck on today's bite.